Hey guys, as you know, I've been involved in Linux open source worlds for the longest time. And one reason why I was attracted to Linux is like, you know, F you Microsoft, F you big company. Um, I want to be independent. I want to, you know, make my own way in this world without, you know, corporate America or something like this. And as I've hit middle age, and um, I'm sure many of you are in the same situation as me, my, my family and I, we were, we were poised to buy this year, or was it last year? We put an offer and didn't make it. Okay, we're going to put another offer. But there's been a, in the housing market in Singapore, there's been a bit of a bottleneck. Something came up, <laughs> the, the pandemic, and, um, and property prices have sort of shot up. So I've got this sort of like nest egg of savings, which is being smashed around by inflation right now. And my friends have long said to me, just put it in Fidelity, BlackRock, Vanguard. But these ETFs, um, <laughs> and actually, you know, yesterday Ali Abdal had a good video about how much money he made on, on these ETFs, which is astonishing to me. I feel really late to the game, but like, okay, I just don't want to support these big companies. These are the things I hate. You know, these like, you know, these companies you can't really have a human interaction with, you know, that feel like it's like stimming my purpose. I don't want to give money to the top 100, 500 companies in the world that that feel that 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 way. I even I even looked into putting money into an ETF in the UK, somehow avoiding the US, but like their stock folio includes Microsoft. So I just, I just can't help but think how many times in my career have I been like combating Microsoft? And you know what? Probably the, the person, the decision maker who, who got that big Microsoft contract for their school or whatever system, they probably just had some shares in Microsoft, right? And that's probably why they chose Microsoft because they could probably see it as a, indirectly enriching themselves. I mean, I, all these sort of questions are just buzzing through my head. I mean, I like the idea that, that there's an open market and you can buy a share in that company and you can invest in that company. But unfortunately, most of the companies are extremely big, highly regulated companies. And they're not the small companies that I want to support. So... But like, you can't give money to a small, like I have friends asking me from angel investing and things like that. But like, I feel like it's just throwing money into a money pit. You know, like, I want to see a return. I mean, they don't have the capability of doing that sort of stuff. So mm. anyway, I wrote a blog about it. I would greatly appreciate your, you, you having a look at the blog and comments below. Like, what do you do if you don't want to support a big company, but you need to invest in something? that beats inflation. Honestly, I'm, I'm a bit confused right now. So <laughs> please like the video so other people see it. And um, actually, you don't need to like the video. You could just share it, you know, beat the algorithm, right? Just let's get personal. Let's, <laughs> let's be human. You know, copy that, that link and send it in a WhatsApp or an email to a friend who's in a similar predicament.